Kyle, I had a question for you, man. We just got done talking to Trent Taylor over there. He said that he is your mini-me, because a lot of people say that you guys look similar. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, there's a lot. It's funny, um, walking around San Jose, how many people ask me if I'm Trent Taylor. People recognize the face, man. He's had success. He's done a great job for us, so everybody knows Trent Taylor. Somewhere else that you've been a big deal is Baltimore. I feel like Baltimore is one of those teams that's known for finding good fullbacks. What's about that team and their ability to find these well dual threat fullbacks that can run, that can block, that can do anything pretty much? Yeah, I think that's um, it's really just built in their culture. It's such a blue collar uh, city, blue collar organization um, that it needs a fullback. You know, it, it's something that they take pride in. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to get drafted there uh, with Monte Leach as my uh, mentor. So I was able to, you know, pick his brain my rookie year and um, really learn some good stuff from him. Last question for you. We all hear about Pat McAfee talking about for the brand and how kickers and punters don't get a lot of love. Fullbacks, they're kind of transitioning out. Do you feel like there should be a movement that gets started for fullbacks? Honestly, I feel like we're starting, we were transitioning out. I feel like we're transitioning back in. I think you've seen um, a lot more fullbacks involved this year. Uh, I think some of the top offenses in the NFL involve a fullback, you know, including ourselves, Kansas City, Baltimore, New Orleans, Green Bay. Um, all these teams use a fullback regularly and they've had a lot of success. Put your hand